Hello everyone, this is Sawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to configure load balancer on NSXT. So let's get started. This is my vCenter server and for demonstration purpose, I have configured two virtual machine, Web01 and Web02. Both are connected with this web segment which I have created in NSXT environment. Web01 IP is 172.16.10.10 and web02 IP is 10.11. Let's jump over to NSX to networking and segment. This is my web segment and I have connected both workload virtual machines on the same seg same subnet. So let me show you my network topology first, how it looks like. This is my end machine from where I I will access my load balancer IP and it will redistribute the traffic on these two virtual machines which are on web segment. Right. So let's jump over to my end machine. I'll the first I will do is I will try to ping this IP and this one and I also try to access this IP through web. So this is the IP address of my VM1, Web01 and this is for Web02. Both are working fine so let's access it through browser as well. So it's popping up through the cache because I tested so this is my web01 and this is web02 so as you can see web server 02 and web server 01 so as per our network topology our virtual ip will be 50.77 and through this ip our web servers 50.77 right now it will not respond but as we configure our load balancer we should be able to access our web servers so let's get started so first of all we need to configure your tier 1 gateway first of all we need to enable state Stateful services for that we need to connect it with the edge. Just save it and close it. Next, hop over to load balancer. For load balancer, you must have a server pool. Then the virtual server with the virtual IP, then actually the load balancer. So all these two we can configure from load balancer. Just click on the load balancer, type the name web lb like load balancer, connect it with tier one gateway. Click on save, then yes for further configuration. Now we need to configure a virtual server. Set as we did not configure earlier so we can configure it from here so, l4 tcp lb load balancer virtual ip so type the ip address as we are going to test it for web so let's select the port 80 so this is the IP address which I have configured here so server pool as we don't have any server pool so let's create a new server pool so we need to add the member of server so the first member would be web01 will be round robin and add member web01 
one seven two six zero ten dot ten is the IP address of my web server one port eighty. And let's see. The next number would be web zero two and its IP. apply so this would be the server pool you can say web web pool simply many settings you can leave it on default save save it will take some time to initialize so we can come back later on or we can check it later on as well so let's say this is our server pool so you can see two members of the server of the server pool or web pool you can say web 01 and web 02 is the are the members and one virtual server we have configured this is our virtual load balancer ip 50.77 and still it is in progress so it will take some time so as you can see it is configured and status is green so let's jump over to our end machine this one so first of all we will check either we are able to access our virtual IP or not as you can see I am pinging I have is being but I am not able to access it so the reason is I have configured static routes between my tier 0 and the physical physical router so we need to configure a static route for this subnet so let's jump over to This interface 99.1 is connected with my edge router which is tier 0 let's ping 99.2 is the IP address of the gateway so as I told you I'm, I have configured the static routes in order to access web network I have to send my traffic to 99.2 so dot 50 network is not configured here so let's put a static route to make it accessible Configuring this, we should be able to ping our still not. So let's move forward. One thing we need to know we have to advertise our load balancer virtual. it close it the same thing we need to repeat on tier 0 gateway as well to tier 0 in route distribution as you can see I have configured static routes towards t0 uplink and it is configured with 99.2 IP and let me show you this interface as well yes this is the interface which is connected to my physical router right so let's redistribute our p0 
click on redistribution and load balancer virtual IP once you apply it save it as you can see we are able to pay so as you can see earlier we were able to access through the web server but we were not able to access through the load balancer IP or the virtual IP let's refresh it here we go so we are able to access server 1 just refresh it couple of time it will switch back to server 2 and we are just getting from the cache so let's try with another browser here we go as you can see the first traffic is passing towards web 01 This is it for now. Thanks for watching.